Hey girlies, it's Tammy, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we're going to be swatching, reviewing, and doing a tutorial using the Makeup Revolution or I Heart Makeup Chocolate Elixir Palette. This is their latest chocolate bar palette, is it? Yes, I have got another one that's coming after this, but it's not released yet. So at this moment in time, this is the latest chocolate bar palette. It is a warm tone kind of dupe for Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance. You guys will see as I get into the video, and I'm also going to be comparing it to three other warm tone palettes that Makeup Revolution already carry. So if you do wanna see all of that, then definitely keep on watching. I'm just gonna quickly prime my eyelids using the Tarte Lid Lock Eyeshadow Base like always. Now, I can't be the only one kind of over warm tone eyeshadows not over it like i still love the look um that warm tones give but i feel like i have a million warm tone palettes so this is what the packaging looks like and then once you open it up the palette inside is almost kind of like a matte metallic and then on the inside this is what the palette looks like now i have seen videos comparing this to the modern renaissance palette by anastasia beverly hills and it's practically the same like there's two shimmers in there the whole palette is matte they have those kind of pinky berry tones right here but overall it is a very neutral warm palette I don't like the fact that they don't have a black in this palette but they do have this really really dark cool tone brown and I'm hoping on my outer V it will kind of give the depth of a black but you'll never know till we try so I think the first shade I'm gonna go in with is called Latte and it is this kind of warm tone camel brown here it's kind of like a base tone transition color for me so you can barely see this color but it is gonna help the other colors blend in I mean, just opening the palette doesn't inspire me. I did say in one of my last videos, I think it was the Labelle So Lush palette review. Um, I'm just into palettes that have different types of colors that you could create so many different types of looks not just neutral looks not just brown looks and i know that is kind of what the everyday girl goes for so it is kind of good for companies to make those type of palettes because they sell well but for me personally i'm like bored of it i am bored of just normal colors like i said in that video just give me a blue give me a purple give me something fun not just muted reds and warm tone browns and you know okay so that shade applied beautifully blended out beautifully it is a gorgeous transition color of course i want to take one of the berry tones because they are kind of the only colorful eyeshadows in this palette i think i'm gonna start with i'm just gonna go in with this one and this is called pink icing and i'm just gonna put this into the crease as well oh my oh oh i've gone too crazy that was way too much eyeshadow so you don't need to pick up a lot on the brush and make sure you are tapping off the excess very pigmented I'm just gonna blend this into the crease okay so that color blends beautifully it is very pigmented it is kind of like a reddish magenta pinky color Okay, so next I'm going to take the shade Chestnut, which is the darkest brown in this palette, and it is the only kind of matte deep brown, and I'm going to put this on my outer V. I hope this intensity is good. Wow, yeah, it looks beautiful. And then back in with my previous brush, blending the edges. Perfect. That depth is still there. I will have to go in with another layer, but the depth is still there. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with that depth and darkness and how that dark color is looking. I would prefer if it was a black, but for the everyday girl, it's more than enough darkness. So for my lid, I'm gonna take the shade Sugar, which is this shimmery golden shade over here, and I'm just gonna use my finger and apply this straight to the lid. Whoa. Are you guys seeing this? Wow. Okay, that shimmer is very, very pigmented. I'm just gonna take this brush and blend the edges. I'm gonna take a dab of that pink icing shade actually and blend straight into the crease. Okay, so here we have the final eyeshadow look and I'm liking it so far. It is kind of like a cute, everyday, neutral, warm look. If you're into those type of things, it looks really nice. It's nothing mind blowing or out of this world, but it does have good pig pigmentation and it blends really well. I like the eye look, so yeah, I'm gonna go off camera quickly, then I'll come back to give you my thoughts on this palette and also compare it to other palettes from Makeup Revolution. Okay, girlies, and I'm back. So here we have the final look. Let me just tell you what's on my lips quickly. I am using the Makeup Revolution Glory Lip Liner 
liner of course but I'm also using the Unique Beauty Matte Lipstick in the shade Noisette which is kind of like a peachy brownie nude I really love it and I do love their price and formula I believe the price of these are like £6.99 really really affordable I will leave it linked down below I think I do have a discount code as well it's not affiliate code so I don't get paid for it but I think I have a discount code I'll check my email and if I do I will list it down below as well now while I was off camera doing the rest of my face I got a little delivery because I have been ordering a lot of stuff from AliExpress recently because I thought I'd do some different videos for you guys AliExpress is still really kind of affordable so I thought I'd order a couple things to review this just came in the mail and I just wanted to show it to you guys because I only swatched one shade and I'm so excited to do this video so it's called the Emancipation palette I don't know why it's called that but it's by the brand you can be and it is an eyeshadow palette I love the design on it it looks like this on the back so it is called number two they do have another one but tell me what you think this is a dupe for girl I was very excited when I saw this on AliExpress and because it's not a fake product it's not actually pretending to be Anastasia you can kind of trust it more still of course beware but you can trust it more because it has oh, dropped the brush it has its own ingredients on the back I mean it's called its own thing it's by a different brand so yeah it's kind of like a dupe rather than a fake and I did swatch this color over here because this is the color that I was kind of excited for in the ABH one and look at that and I did already swatch it on my hand but look at that look at that i am so excited for this palette it is like a dupe every single shade is the same it's in the same layout it just looks amazing so i can't wait to do this review i just thought i'd mention that because it got delivered today now back to the chocolate elixir palette by i Heart makeup makeup revolution tan beauty however however how the however you want to say it so my thoughts on this palette is it good yes it's just like every other makeup revolution quality in terms of their latest quality because i feel like their latest formula or whatever they're doing to their latest products the pigmentation the layout everything about it is obviously better than how when they first started in my personal opinion so the quality of this palette is similar to everything makeup revolution is releasing right now very pigmented very blendable very gorgeous however the shades inside are not wowing me they're not like oh my god I can't wait to use this palette it's not inspiring me when I open it up but then again it is just a neutral palette I can't expect too much from it because neutrals do sell well for brands like I said so this palette will probably do very well for makeup revolution but for me personally the color selection is a bit boring I do get that they were trying to dupe the Anastasia modern renaissance but I feel like a couple of their palettes already duped that palette so they could have done something completely different with this so my thoughts on it it's a great palette if you love the tones in it and you don't have anything like it then definitely go for it the formulation is beautiful the shimmers are so pigmented the matte are very pigmented and blendable super soft not dry I mean there's nothing wrong with the formula so if you do love the colors then definitely it is a thumbs up the color selection for me is just a bit boring and I feel like I've seen it before so let me go ahead and show you a couple palettes that I've seen this color scheme in before first of all starting with the flawless free this is the palette that everyone thought was a dupe for the modern renaissance until the next one came out this one I wasn't really loving like it was cool only for the full sh four or five shades at the bottom so like these how many shades is it yeah these four shades at the bottom were really all I use out of this palette the whole overall palette is just very light and boring in my opinion it just doesn't call me apart from these four shades I really would not touch the rest of the palette but me personally I haven't reached for this palette in a long time especially since the flawless four came out which I will get to but here we have the comparison side by side so at the top of course chocolate elixir at the bottom flawless free I would say between these two palettes if you are torn go with the chocolate elixir you get more very in terms of tones now next we have the actual palette that I would say go for over the chocolate elixir palette this palette has everything you would need it's double the shades and like I think it's one pound cheaper I think the chocolate elixir palette is eight pound 99 and the flawless four is eight pounds so it is cheaper you get more shades however the pans are smaller but the quality is still there they blend just the same the pigmentation is amazing and the amount of times I've actually used the flawless four you guys will see when I hold it up I have loved this palette it a lot like this shade right here this burgundy is almost hitting pan um, the shimmers have been very well loved I overall highly highly recommend this palette out of the whole 32 eyeshadow range of course there are 32 eyeshadows in here and they kind of have a line of 32 eyeshadow palettes but this is definitely the one I say go for if you're looking at any palette from makeup revolution this is my favorite flawless four it comes with every single neutral tone you would ever need but it also has those pops of warm tone pinky magenta reddish tones that everyone's loving at the moment so I highly highly recommend flawless four and then once you compare it to the chocolate elixir uh -huh. 
So if you compare them, they basically have the same tones, but the Flawless 4 has more, like I said, more options, definitely more shimmer options as well. You get this whole bottom row of shimmers, you get the whole top row of shimmers, and then in the Chocolate Elixir, you only get two or three or four, I can't remember how many I said, but it's like three or four shimmer shades. So if you're trying to decide between these two palettes, I would definitely say go with Flawless 4 because you get more options for like one pound cheaper. Plus you also get a black in the Flawless 4 palette, which you guys know I love. And then last but not least, we have the kind of latest warm tone release from Makeup Revolution and this is the Life on the Dance Floor guest list palette. This one is £10 I think because of the packaging and then this is what it looks like inside. So this is a very vibrant orangey fiery palette. So here we have the palettes compared and as you can see they are similar but completely different. The Chocolate Elixir has more neutral tones, more warm neutrals, whereas the Life on the Dance Floor guest list palette is straight up fiery red orange. You know exactly what you want out of your eye look. You want orange. This is definitely a palette for you, but this is definitely more of a muted version. So they're not similar in my, they're not the same in my opinion. And which one you go for will depend on preference. If you like warm tones, but warm tones neutrals, then definitely go for Chocolate Elixir. But if you love warm tones, you love oranges, you love burgundies, reds, all of that, go for the Life on the Dance Floor guest list palette. So that is all of the palettes I wanted to compare to the Chocolate Elixir palette. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you did, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Take care. Bye.